King Edgy here, bringing you another Gen 1 video. And we are continuing to climb that ladder. That's right, we're back in the two spot. We're seeing if we can get the one spot. It's gonna take three quality victories to get there. Let's see if we can get that done, starting off against Paris here. And we're just gonna go ahead and blizzard and see what we can do. Crit, freeze, neither. All right, we're asleep. That's okay, that's okay. The hope is he can't do a ton to us. We wake up, we blizzard for the KO. It'll take four more of those before he recovers enough. Yep, so he gives up on that, which is fine. Let's wake up, Clefairy. Not gonna wake up, huh? All right, so we lose Clefairy, which is too bad. But we've got Cloyster here to clean this up for us, I think, I hope, I pray. Yeah, there we go. All right, I don't know how I feel about that trade, Clefairy for Paris, but what are you going to do? Um, Gyarados versus Cloyster here is not our best matchup. We could explode, plus Body Slam might get him. But that's tough, because everything on our team is so slow, except for Charmander. Uh, but let's see, I think we have to explode. Yep. Unfortunate, but we had to do it. Uh, and we got to make sure that Charmander can, in fact, get the Gyarados with a good body slam. Mm, yeah, close enough. It would need the absolute minimum roll to not get it. Again, 21%. Always rounded up there, so... We get him, which is good. Okay. Ah, I was going to say, now we have to hope he has no more water types because we're very vulnerable to them. Um, and I, I'm wondering if our best play is to switch to Lickitung. Uh, in that case, we get one Body Slam off. I think it's to stay in with Charmander and try to paralyze him. Because if Lickitung comes out, he only gets one Body Slam off. This way we get two with Charmander and potentially two with Lickitung. Which is pretty good. But we'll just dance instead. I feel really bad about this matchup now. Our team is just so slow that I don't know what it can do. And so we can't risk getting para, uh, put to sleep here, so we do have to switch out. Unfortunately, that's to Geodude. And now we've revealed our last is Paris. Also not great. So our big hope is really just to be able to sweep with Lickitung, but... I don't know how plausible that is. I gotta check if we can take out this seal. Well, Mega Drain does more than Body Slam. Darn, two Mega Drains would have definitely gotten him. But I think we have to risk it. We don't get the high roll. Paralyze, please. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're still technically in this. He hasn't shown us a fire type yet, so that's a good sign. goes Hypno into Electrode. Okay, I mean, that's fine. So Hypno can do some good damage to us, but um, if we survive even a little bit, and we par if we manage to paralyze Hypno, then we're looking really good. We do paralyze Hypno, so we are looking very good. We can go Geodude here. If he has rest, that'll be unfortunate, but it looks like he does not have rest. So that's great. Uh, we can block the potential sleep from Weepin' Bell with our paralyzed Paris. So we're feeling kind of okay about that. If this dude would ever wake up, he would be in business, but he will not. Goodness gracious. Um... That's really unfortunate because we do think Hypno's last move is Hypnosis, but it's less than 50% to hit while he's paralyzed, so we should be okay here. Oh, we get the crit through the reflect. That's pretty good. And Paris actually kind of walls these last two, so we might be able to take this. I'm going to check if Hyper Beam does one-shot the Weepin' Bell. And it does at plus two. 
So we should be in business here. <laughs> if we can hit the hyper beam, please. Whew, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Let's go. Wow, we pulled that out. Whew. Very scary, very scary. I did not think we were going to get that one, but we managed to. Picking Geodude to go to sleep, right? I love a rock ground type of sleep because it still walls electric types really hard. And uh, yeah, that was just pretty nicely played at the end there by us. And we got a little lucky that Paris was so good for the end game, but you no, know, it worked out. Worked out okay. I don't know what he might have done differently or better, and we just consistently made some good calls. We got a little lucky that Seal was fully paralyzed on that one turn. Yeah, that was that was the turning point there. If Seal wasn't fully paralyzed and he hit us with Blizzard, then like Hypno could have knocked Paris out and we would have lost. So huge, huge paralysis there. Sometimes you got to take those to make a climb like this one, going right to the top, inching ever closer. Here we are, 14 points away. So it might take us two more quality wins. We'll see. We will see. But now we have to sit and wait a little bit. While we do, we're continuing to think about uh, some upcoming stuff for this channel. Um, I got a nice suggestion of trying to do each generation and just play around and see how I can do. Um, I might think about doing that. I've got something in the works, I think, for the for the rest of the winter, um, but it might take a little while to, to come out. So in the meantime, I'll just continue doing these ladder climbing bids, probably primarily Gen 1. That's what I like to do. It's, it's fun for me. I did select search, right? Okay, great. Um, but I've got a good series that I hope will be fun. Might be like 20 to 30 videos or so. Um, that might be like most of March, April, I guess, when it would come out. Uh, and then probably on to Gen 4, excuse me, um, because we've done Gen 1 and 9. We did Gen 3 by request. Um, and ugh, I just I just don't know if I can bring myself to do Gen 2. So we might try out Gen 4. It should be fun. We've never really played Gen 4, you know, Growing up, played Gen 1, 2, and 3 on the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and uh, never never played Gen 4, though, so we'll see. Uh, this is a pretty good start for us. We can just safely body slam. Grimer comes out. He's going to explode right into our ghastly. Come on one time. Let's go, baby. Give me the forfeit. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't ever want the forfeit. Um, this is also pretty good for us because even if we miss Hypnosis, Tangle can't do anything to Ghastly even if it's asleep, so we're not overly concerned. We are not overly concerned. We get that nice special drop, and we're like firmly in the driver's seat now. And not only have the Pokemon that he's revealed been not so good, but also our Pokemon counter them very well. We've got a couple faster than Golduck. One, two, three, four. We've got four faster than Golduck. Insane. Um, and he seems scared of Ghastly. Maybe if Tangle was his best answer. So I think we might want to try saving Ghastly. And to do that, I think we'll go out to Blastoise on the Amnesia here. Oh, he just goes for Blizzard. Okay. He does Amnesia now, and he might have Rest, which wouldn't bother us too, too much. And he does have Rest, yep. 
And again, like I said, it doesn't bother us too, too much because one para, one crit, we've got him. But I'm happy to trade um, Blastoise for Golduck. It's a fine trade for me. And like, no matter what, he's going to end up with um, significantly less than half health. Yeah, and once we get that para, it's over. Zubat comes out. He's going to go Confuse Ray, I think, so we won't switch to Ghastly just yet, but we will next turn. All right, here comes Ghastly. Oh, you know what? That's really dumb. Ghastly is slower than Zubat now, which I did not remember. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to Magmar here and just get the knockout. Wow. Yeah, Zubat's level 100 now, so it's uh, still not good, but much more legit. Uh, Snorlax is here. We're not even going to mess around with Confusion Strats. We're just going to take him down the good old-fashioned way with a nice uh, double crit. I don't think that last crit mattered. Now we've got Mewtwo, um, who's also been not treated super kindly by the level 56 that he's at. But we've got a lot of physical attackers, so again, we're not super concerned. We're not super concerned at all, and we're going to get this 6-0. Very, very rare. Very rare 6-0, especially against a great player. We just had the matchup. I mean, four of our Pokemon were faster than his fastest. Crazy, right? Pretty crazy. And so we're right up there now. Right up there. And here we go. The third battle. This is four, number one on the ladder. I can't imagine winning and not getting the three points necessary. Um, so you can feel the pressure a little bit, but we're feeling so good coming off of that 6-0 win. Even making that awful mistake of going ghastly against Zubat on the just ghastly is so slow now I mean look at this ghastly used to be what level 88 and now it's level 75 I mean it's un unbelievable it's unbelievable and that first one whew, yeah still still scary looking back at it just a slow slow team and we, we managed to pull it out so and we're feeling pretty good we're feeling like this might be our time take that top spot we hope so again we're kind of hoping to be number one on february 7th when we give our uh, first lecture on the introduction to competitive pokemon battling series that we are doing for our high school students. Um, a little dip into the world of probability, expected value, and uh, something that's tons of fun. It brings us all a lot of joy, Pokemon. Man, not a lot of people battling today, I guess, so a little slow here. Maybe we will jump into another battle and kind of see what's what's going on in this one. Uh, this is Peter Peter who we played in the first battle, but this battle uh, not really not really happening. So maybe we'll check this one out, which seems to have a lot going on. Oh, I like that switch to Paris. Paris is great there. I guess Slowpoke is not the Amnesia Poke, but the Psychic Surf Earthquake Poke. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know how I felt about the Dodrio switch, uh, the Doduo switch there. I guess it was fine. It can't get paralyzed by Body Slam is the thing, right? So it's not so bad. Whew. Frank 10, you gotta be happy about that because woof, could have been bad switch is coming here oh frank 10 oh we were just watching you battle frank 10 um you seemed 
good, so I'm a little nervous. Um, Rapidash is my fastest Pokemon. Don't really want to let it get put to sleep, but Vileplume might not have sleep. We could crit him. If we burn him, then, like, even if he puts us to sleep, he can't do much to us, so we're just going to go with it. We're going to take what we learned from watching Frank 10's last battle. All right, let's burn this Gyarados. Okay, we did not burn him, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to go Nidorino here. Uh, he might body slam us, which is like the safe middle ground play because it paralyzes a lot, but he doesn't. Um, and in fact, that's what we're going to do, the safe middle ground play. We think he has to switch out because we know Thunderbolt, and that'll just knock him out, so... We might go back to the Vile Plume, and we're just trying to put him in range for Rapid Ash's Fire Blast, which would not one shot, but maybe do 75%. I'd hope. Something like that. Chansey comes out, so we get a big body slam off. Oh, that's a huge body slam. That allows us to pick up the KO with the next body slam here. So I think he's got to switch back out or let Chansey go. Either way, it's it's big for us because we could paralyze something else, but whew, we get the Chansey KO. Gigantic. Okay, look at Tongues here, but Paris is faster, so we, we're not concerned about him at all, even if he dances up. Boy, this Nidorino came to play. Uh, let's just get the freeze. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Um... I'm just going to check real quick if Double Edge... Oh, I already have Lickitung up there. Does Double Edge get him? No, it does less than Blizzard. Okay. Uh, and Blizzard... I guess it could get him, so we might as well go for it. Even though it was pretty unlikely. I was debating there because we could have just tried to, you know, go for Thunderbolt and get a crit or something. Nidorino is maybe faster than his whole team, though. So... That would be really good to know. Here's where we find out. Uh, and the answer is yes, Nidorino is faster than his whole team. Uh, at least if you ask me. Do we have another answer for Gyarados? Yeah, I think Mew is our answer, so I'm okay letting Nidorino go down here after doing some good damage. Um, although, Mew is also our answer to Blastoise, so yikes. And our team's a little weak to water, um, unless Gyarados doesn't know Blizzard. Mew is our answer to Gyarados, but, but um, you know, Golduck is an okay potential answer. As soon as we get a special drop or a crit, though, Blastoise is in trouble, and you can't rest off the speed drop of Paralysis in Gen 1, so Frank's in a little bit of a bind here. I think he does have to switch out on this turn, or, or not, and that's okay. We'll take that. Right, because he doesn't know what we know. So if he switched out to Gyarados and we knew Thunderbolt, like, what could he do? All right, but this is good. We wanted to be able to paralyze the Gyarados. And we're able to do that. He does paralyze us back, but that's not terrible. It does prevent us from getting put to sleep by the Vile Plume. You'll notice there that Gyarados went first, even though we're faster. Um, when you get paralyzed, it divides your speed by four, but it rounds down always. So 188 divided by 4 is what? Uh, 47. And 189 divided by 4 is 47.25. So also 47. So we are speed tied right now. Um, even though it'll say I'm faster. Oof, that was a big paralysis on that one. But now we just need the special drop. And once we get that status, it'll kind of double the paralysis effect. And we'll be able to definitely be faster. Um, golly, I'm just going to go Psychic again, 
All right, let's go. File Plume can't put us to sleep because we're paralyzed, which is pretty nice. Victory Well probably knocks us out with uh, Hyper Beam from this range. So do we switch? Nah, I'm just going to let him take us out. Because I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go into Goldock and just Blizzard. I, I do think we survive one Razor Leaf. And the Blizzard will put Victory Bell in range for Fire Blast. Sand Slash is faster than... Um, Vile Plume. So we're in okay shape here. I don't think he can learn Swords Dance and Sleep Powder. So he's going to have to Body Slam us here. While we get the Sleep off. And now we're just in great shape. I mean, now it's basically over at this point. We're going to switch out just in case we happen to get fully paralyzed a few times. Um, oh, wow, that did much less than 75%. Just go for the safe body slams and, and take it home. And there we go. That gave us plus eight. And... Boo, doo, 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 doo. Number one. There we go. So three battles... A battle that had a really scrappy endgame, a battle where we just got all the luck in the world, and then a battle that was just kind of all around solid with a Nidorino that was unstoppable. And that puts us uh, back at number one. And our hope is to stay there through February 7th so that when we start our lectures, we can show our students that, hey, actually, you are learning from someone who's pretty good at this game. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know some of your thoughts in the comments section below, and I will see you in the next video.